Um, first, it started as, as a hobby. Since my childhood, there, uh, were some, there, there was someone who discovered my talent, who was my father. So he used to, to ask me to, to, to do what I have to do, which is painting. So he was trying to make uh, Farid love the art. Because when you love anything, you will do more and more. You will go beyond your expectation in anything, not only in the art, even in your own business. So uh, when I have graduated from the university, I decided since I have a talent that I want to be a professional in the art. Uh, my career plan, see, whatever apply in the art, apply in, in any business, for example. Uh, you have to have a plan. In your business, you have to have a strategy, long-term and short-term goals. Even in the art, I have my short-term goals and long-term goals. For example, when I was uh, 15 years old or 10 years old, uh, my target was to, to participate in any art competition in the school. When I achieved that goal, my next goal was to uh, participate in more professional exhibition. After that was uh, participating with professional artists. So there is a long term and short term uh, goals that I have. As I mentioned before, when I have been graduated from university, I took a decision that since I have a talent, I want to use it. I want to become a professional in the, in the art. I want to, to represent my country. So at that time was the first time that I decided to work for myself, to not just have an art just as a hobby, but to become professional and gain from the art. What motivates me? To, actually, in any field, when you read more, when you search more, when you read and know about the masters and what they have been uh, achieved, that motivates you to, to follow their steps, to, to achieve what they have achieved. I can say roughly six to eight hours a day during the week, the holidays. In between, I give myself uh, a break, especially when I finish uh, any art. Not very often. Uh, because when I come from my, my work, I spend the whole day doing my art. Yes, I have some of my close friends and families that they have their own businesses. Uh, most of them, they are in the food field, they have their own restaurants. Uh, work experience, yes, I have some work experiences along with my art. Uh, I have uh, experience in banking field, currently in quality. When I have seen what's happening around us, especially in Dubai, uh, the opportunities uh, are still are, are uh, available, uh, especially we have the, the infrastructure that we need. We have so many galleries, so many art museums, uh, art auctions. So everything that the artist want is available. So the next step is on the artist himself. He or she has to, to work very hard and be serious about what he's doing. So at that time, I decided to become a professional artist. About the planning, any art that I do, I consider it as, as uh, a project. It's not just something that I, I paint and that's it. It starts with inspiration, with the sketches. Sometimes I go uh, in some places and bring some items from these places that I want to paint, paint or draw, such as stones, woods, because I have to study these elements before I apply in my art. A lot of pressures. Uh, the good thing is that I have been grown up uh, within a family that appreciate and support and motivate uh, me and they appreciate the art. That is very important in your own business. The first thing is that your family should support and motivate you. Alhamdulillah, uh, I have that. But there are some challenges. First, friends and people around me so many people, they don't know the art, so uh, they were saying, Farid, what are you doing? You will not get anything out of the art. 
These people now, when I achieve something, they are the first people who conduct me on my achievements. Because I have to show them what's the art, who's for it. I have to make my name as a brand. So I have to work very hard to do that. Uh, and or after any after uh, any steps or stage in my uh, art career, I review what had been accomplished and uh, achieved to review the strength and the areas for improvements as well. So I work on areas for improvement and I focus more on the strength area to to make it better and better. So. Uh, in any field, there are areas for opportunities. Uh, so on every step, I review what has been achieved. I focus on strength and the areas for improvement, and I work on both. I focus to make the strength better and better, and I work on areas for improvement. About the achievement or the highlights, yes, as I, uh, four of my artworks have been collected by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. After that, I started selling my artworks uh, outside UAE. External collectors, they uh, collected my artworks. In my opinion, uh, the strength uh, in my art is that I deal and I used to deal with the hardest tool in the art, which is watercolor. Uh, most of the artists, they, they don't deal or they try to deal with other tool since it's very difficult. The weaknesses, I don't call it weaknesses, I call it challenges or areas for improvement. Uh, since I deal with watercolor, I think in future I will try uh, to deal with oil color because there are some collectors that they only want to collect oil color artwork, so why not I can deal with these uh, tools. And the other thing or the other challenge is that most of our society uh, people they still they are not that much aware about the art. The trend is positive, but we need them to become more aware about that. For sure, the time that I spend now is more than what I used to spend earlier. Earlier, you know, uh, my goal was to develop my skills and to, to now. I don't only focus on my skills, but also I search and I review about the tools available, I try to find the best tools that I use in my uh, art because all the input items will uh, result to the best outcome and best uh, artworks. As the future goes, I want my artworks to, to be collected all over the world. I want to represent my country, uh, not only in UAE but in uh, international equation and uh, to reach the famous art museum. Yes, I have met my initial goals as I call it. For sure, some goals have to be changed and in any business you have to be flexible to survive, otherwise you will not survive. Uh, you have to accommodate uh, on what's happening around you. I have to see the, the taste of the collectors, uh, the galleries, interest around us, and I have to to be flexible and change my goals according to to the things that happen around us to survive. It has been changed. Uh, before my time with my family and friends was was more, but now my time of them less. As a time spending with families and friends less, but as an income more than before so you know it, it's you have to balance it i don't think if i will uh, go back again it would be different it would be same so i think i'm on the right path it's like any business it's business uh, selling more having more demand on your items having more customers is something that motivates you to do more. Uh, finally as an advice uh, i'll say two things you have to go through a hard time. Uh, not having a hard time will not lead you to success. If you want to achieve something, you have to go through these barriers. Uh, and it's your decision to go forward or backward. So you have to go through a hard time. You have to do it. Nothing is impossible. Second is the most important thing, action. Everyone has a dream. 
I have a dream, you have a dream, but the difference between you and other people, some people they just have a dream and they don't do anything. Others who are very successful, they action. So just action, whatever comes to your mind, action.